Greetings! Today I've got another flashlight from eBay. And yes, it is another Skywolf Eye uh, product. Uh, this time it is the TLY006. And it's a really nice looking, well built flashlight that we're going to take apart and have a look at uh, its workings. I've had a similar uh, one before, uh, the Skywolf 5 TLY6501 and uh, I was really really happy and really impressed with, with this flashlight. Um, it went uh, a couple of camping trips with me and it served very well so really good and the battery lasts in this um, for quite a while. And I found this one and um, it was also relatively cheap, I think it was just over a pound and um, yeah, um, I thought I'll, I'll give it a shot and see if it's the same, if it's any different. And this particular one is, a, there's a few subtle differences between this one and the other one. It almost feels like this is an upgraded model. So, and I'll show you what those what those are. One of those is um, actually really important. So, uh, maybe let's just compare the two. There we go, they are... Those are side by side. You can see the new one, the TLY006 is a little bit uh, longer, just a little bit, and there is an important reason why. And we fully extend them both. Again, the TLY is just a just a tiny bit longer. Now, both of those um, on the back, they've got the green button. The button seems a little bit bigger on the. Uh, black one on the 006 and the front we've got a lens um, an LED which looks very similar um, but again there are some small differences in this um, and this one the the new one has got a little bit a little bit uh, more tactical look um, if you know what I mean it's black and more dangerous looking and uh, not that it's really any dangerous but uh, it just looks cooler this particular one um, came from eBay cost me £1.40 it was an auction um, the tough one came from China came reasonably quick and it came from seller Zio Small the description says it's a new 2500 lumens zoomable Cree XML T6 LED 18650 flashlight torch lamp C4B1 and um, I'm wondering whether that's an actual Cree uh, LED that's inside and whether it really puts out 2500 lumens. Okay, let's switch it on and um, see what's um, what's it like. I've put the battery in already and we can compare it with the other one. So it's the same sort of arrangement as in the other one where you, you fully click to switch it on but slight press changes the mode and there is three modes in it. There's the full, uh, full blast, um, half blast and strobe that gives you epileptic attacks. You can see that the, this one uh, seems a little bit brighter and what I've also noticed um, this one is has got a more much uh, warmer color LED this one's really cold it's a really uh, really cold um, LED and the the 061 model has got a a little bit uh, more warm white um, sort of shade so it's um, a little bit nicer I must say I quite like it to zoom in and out you basically pull this in and out and this is quite stiff so uh, the the previous one this was um, I was able to just move it back and forth uh, and on this one this is quite quite a bit stiff so um, yeah uh, maybe it will wear out with time um, a little bit but anyways um, let's pull it apart So the battery comes off and that's the laptop battery that I've stuck in uh, before. Um, looking at the switch, it's exactly the same sort of arrangement um, as in the previous one. Um, I've actually tried it and this, this even fits on the other um, end of the flashlight so you can have a hybrid uh, if you wanted to. A um, gold one with the back end, this is exactly the same. Uh, apart from a few minor differences in the shape of the whole thing. This. Um, it's got the same sort of uh, switch in there. 
and a springy contact for the um, for the battery but what I've noticed inside over here you should see that over there this is something that the other one didn't have so they have so with a flat top batteries like this the other one just had a uh, basically contact on the back of the PCB that LED sits on and all well, the driver chip sorry and when I was using flat top batteries it didn't make a contact but this one this one has got a spring in there and this is what uh, what makes up for the extended length of the battery this is pretty much all there is to it this is the uh, extra four or five millimeters of in length that spring over there this is why they needed it and this is actually really good because um, in this one I'd I'll pull it out quickly and show you so in this one I had to use a, a button top uh, LED because you can see there is no spring it's just a contact so if I put a battery like this over here no go and yeah sometimes it makes contact but barely so it's not really good um, I'll have to use button top and then then it works so yeah they've improved uh, by putting this in so let's let's take the rest of it out so the front um, little thing unscrews we've got this is just a aluminium it's really light it's got a bit sharp edges uh, on the on this uh, crown uh, at the front of the flashlight well it's not that sharp but it could catch on your, on your trousers and whatnot so and here we have the tiny little um, LED chip and it looks like it's a chip on a on a little board and from what I remember on the other one this unscrews but oh okay I'm able to grip it like so There we go. And here we have the setup. It's um, and it's basically identical as the other one. The only difference is they've um, soldered in a little chip. So let's go a tiny bit further and remove the driver chip to see whether it's um, the same arrangement. So if we just gently pry that out. There we go. And this looks basically identical to the other one we've got the GY02 chip uh, two resistors the capacitor and the wires going into LED and the driver chip diameter um, I'm gonna measure that uh, because on the previous one someone asked me for it so I'm not sure why but just for uh, confirmation purposes uh, yeah it's a 17 millimeter driver and the hole is also 17 millimeter there we go 16.84 ah, close enough 16.8 uh, 17 millimeter hole for the driver chip and let's compare um, how does the current draw look like on both of them the old one and the new one so this is the module from the um, the gold one, the previous one, so um, I've got this uh, set up here, this is the uh, winner's little mini power supply um, it's set to 4.16 volts so it's simulating a fairly well charged battery and we need to do negative to the case and positive to the positive and we should see uh, we are drawing and that's the full blast that's half blast and the strobe so let's see again full blast um, 960 milliamps um, so just under an amp so this is pulling uh, we can call it an amp um, out of a fully charged battery and this is the full mode and in half mode it drops down to roughly about oh, we can call it 300 milliamps or so it's jumping a little bit but uh, yeah that's what it is so 
let's look at the new one on this one I can conveniently clip on the lead to the spring clip and again uh, let's do that's a strobe half strobe that's full okay it's actually drawing a little bit less current so this one's uh, about 100 milliamps less than the previous one that's the half mode again just well, 250 milliamps and in the strobe 400 milliamps or so so you know this one even though it looks a little bit brighter it um, it actually draws less current so the batteries will last um, a little bit longer so um, that's quite interesting it must be something with the chip because the chip itself although it looks really similar it's got to be a little bit different and uh, I'm not sure who makes that chip I doubt it's an actual Cree chip but uh, yeah I'm not going to take the actual module apart I know from previous attempts that this is not going to work okay and just for kicks I've got the Vici here uh, multimeter it's going to measure the frequency that it, this is switching at so um, if we switch it on this is the strobe mode um, th and by the way this is the new module so we've got full blast that's nothing and uh, this is the half blast and that's about 240 hertz uh, modulation and let's see we can can we see the duty cycle about 75% duty cycle on this and the strobe is about 7.8 just about 8 Hertz and let's check the previous one so let me just make sure I get the polarity right and there we go this is the full blast so nothing half blast uh, uh, pretty similar oh come on it's which is picking up rubbish 265 Hertz and a slightly quicker eight and a half hertz on the strobe mode go another really nice flashlight and um, yeah I'm gonna have two now uh, maybe let's do another test I'm gonna switch off my lights and uh, see what sort of brightness will we achieve oh that's a strobe we don't want that and this is oh that's almost as bright as my normal lights and this will be the half uh, half brightness and horrible strobe and we can zoom into a point and you also get on this um, the funny image but it swamps the camera but you get the little chip size there we go this is the Skywolf 5 TLY006 flashlight zoomable LED 18650 um, gizmo gadgets uh, and it comes with a little um, lanyard and a green button and it shines really nicely so thank you very much for watching this uh, short um, look at video subscribe for more random stuff for the time being take care